welcome back to the BNC. My name is Peter and part of our very special three year anniversary. I will be counting down my top five favorite films of all time. I am terrible at making lists. So I had to give myself a certain set of rules to be able to compile a top five list. This isn't the films I consider to be the greatest films of all time. They're just my personal favorites. And the other set of rules I really had to give myself was genres. Each film, I tried to fit a different genre because I didn't want every film in the top five to be the exact same kind of film. At number five, I chose under the genre comedy, Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. This is a film I saw when I was very young, and it's a film that's very strong in my family. Me and my sister have seen this film a million times. We had it on DVD. I, f I think we lost it. This is, to me, is my favorite Will Ferrell film. Him and John C. Riley just play so well off of each other. Every single line in this film I can quote you, and I just find it hilarious. 10, 20 years from now, if you put it in front of me, I'm still gonna be laughing at it. At number four, under the horror genre, I have Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs is a very terrifying film. I watch a lot of horror films, and I like a lot of horror films. But when I, I really think about things that scare me, it's not ghosts or really aliens or otherworldly things that aren't real. It's the monsters that are here on Earth with us that are very much real. And that's why I picked Silence of the Lambs. Anthony Hopkins gives the best performance of his career, and I think he was only in it for about 10 minutes. Similar to Darth Vader in the original Star Wars, who I think was, was only in it about 10 minutes as well, 10 to 15. But because their performance was so well, they're just such icons as these major villains in movie history. And just when you're tackling that subject matter of psychopaths, and killers that are very much real, our own past. A lot of the things they touch on upon that film is very scary, very real, and I feel very human. There's the scene at the end where um, Clarice is, goes to capture Buffalo Bill and all the lights are off. And Buffalo Bill is hunting her with night vision goggles. And it's it still works on me. I still find it very terrifying and suspenseful. Now for number three on my list, I cheated a bit. Depending on who you ask, this film may or may not be a family film, and family film is the genre. I went with It's a Wonderful Life. I would argue that it is a family film, especially because, you know, over the years, that's how a lot of us grew up with it, you know, watching it with family around Christmas time. It, it is one of the greatest films ever made, and it's a really beautiful, touching tale. Seeing the life of a man and him really feeling like he hasn't made an impact on anyone, he hasn't done anything with his life, and it takes the, you know, the power of this angel coming down to show him, you know, all the good deeds he did, all the lives he touched. And it's something that we don't realize sometimes. We don't realize when we help other people just by doing the right thing. It's just a very incredibly touching, well-made film that I enjoy watching every Christmas. At number two, the next genre I had was action adventure. And this one was particularly difficult because it came down to two very famous, very iconic films. One of them involving wars in the stars. And the other one, which I eventually came to pick, is Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. I really don't know what I can say about it that hasn't been said about this film already. It's, it really is the perfect action adventure. You love indie, you love all the side characters, great action, great adventure. As a kid, this film, it just whisks you away and you want to be Indiana Jones. You want to go off and find, you know, hidden historical artifacts and fight Nazis. Everything about this film is great, from the music by John Williams, direction by Steven Spielberg, Harrison Ford is Indiana Jones. He is Indiana Jones. To the villains, to the action, to the scenery, how it's shot, it's just all in out incredible action adventure. And I think it's the best one ever. I could watch again and again and again and again, and I have, and I will continue till I die. And for my number one, under the genre of drama, 
you could definitely count this film as the best film ever made, which is The Godfather. What can I say really about this film that hasn't been said? You can watch this film so many times and you catch up on new and smaller interesting things about it. My favorite ending of a film ever you know, at the end is they slowly close the door and his wife realizes that he is the godfather now. I run past it on AMC, I have to stop. I have to stop and watch it. The score is incredible, the directing is incredible. I know a lot of people uh, consider the, the second one, part two, to be better than the first. Usually when there's two films that are made and people love the sequel more, sort of like Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back, I'm usually someone who likes the first film like, I consider Star Wars better than Empire Strikes Back, and I consider The Godfather better than The Godfather Part Two. It's not really the story, but it's how you tell it. The Godfather isn't, you know, a crazy original tale. It's a story we've seen in different variations all throughout history. But the way in which it's told and the setting and the time period with the actors and the music and the direction, just all of it put together, is just creates a miracle of a film that really is one of the most quoted films of all times and one of the greatest, if not the greatest film of all time. That was my top five favorite films. You know, if you do disagree with me in any way, feel free to leave me hate comments below. Make sure to watch some of the other members of the BNC. They're gonna be giving out their top five and then we're gonna do a video where we all discuss each other's top five. And I'm sure that'll be very fun. <laughs> we have very opinionated people here at the BNC, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. So anyway, keep it here for the BNC, the place for all things movie news and reviews.